Hi everyone! In this video we're going to look at one of my all-time favorite subscription boxes. It's not a beauty box in terms of your outer beauty. It is a Nature Box, which is a food subscription box company, and I sort of see it as beauty for you on the inside, taking care of your body, trying to eat foods that are not so terrible for you and yet taste really, really good. So if you're not familiar with Nature Box, it is a food subscription box company and they send you full-sized packets of healthy versions of snacks. So let's take a look at this nature box, I think for July 2013. So it comes in a huge box like this and as with you know most subscription box companies you do get a insert here an insert where it shows you information about each of the food items that you're getting for that box this subscription only costs twenty dollars a month which i think is an incredible deal it's less than that 19.95 i think and if you're interested after watching this video there is going to be a promotion code in the description box for allura beauty viewers to give you ten dollars off your first box so you basically get 50% off of your first box from nature box if you want to get one of your own which I'm guessing a lot of you will because of how awesome they are all right let's look at the items here so first is country ranch sunflower kernels and nature boxes foods always come like this each food comes individually packaged in its own uh, pouch here so that you can throw it in your bag or your camping sack or whatever and take it on the go so these are basically flavored sunflower seeds and they aren't too heavily flavored so they've got a little bit of salt to them they're not overly salty but most importantly they don't have high fructose corn syrup and the top ingredients are non-gmo sunflower kernels sunflower oil buttermilk powder salt rice syrup solids and etc i won't read the entire list for you but it's not um sweetened with high fructose corn syrup which is terrible for you and you should basically never eat and it doesn't have a ton of other sugars there's less than a gram of sugar in this so there's the first food item next we have garden tomato almonds so the ingredients are almonds sugar salt usually i'm not a big fan when the second ingredient is sugar but if you look at the amount there's only two grams of sugar in this whole thing so it is basically just almonds and then some flavoring on them and here's what they look like so you can see the little crystallized uh things of sugar and salt oh my gosh these are so good um it is mostly almonds but that really tiny amount of seasoning on them makes a huge difference these are really good it's a mix of sweet and salty which i love like i love kettle corn for example and the tomato taste it's there now that i know that it's supposed to be there but i don't think you otherwise would really notice the tomato taste to these next are lemon tea biscuits so the first ingredient is flour it is wheat flour and butter powdered sugar honey natural lemon flavor buttermilk powder and salt so this one has nine grams of sugar that's you know getting up there in terms of sort of the uncomfortable what i find a little uncomfortable in terms of the amount of sugar they are biscuits though and this is going to be sort of a, more of a dessert type of snack these tiny little babies here they're very biscuity i'm sorry i'm speaking with my mouth with food in it but that's kind of the nature of this video um they're very biscuity and they have a medium level of that lemon taste to them and i'm gonna eat another one because these are good fourth we have whole wheat blueberry figgy bars so these are made with whole wheat flour evaporated cane juice which again isn't great but is better than high fructose corn syrup brown rice syrup again a good alternative to straight up sugar or high fructose corn syrup fig paste canola oil blueberry paste um, etc here's what they look like one bar is 120 calories so this is great that they are individually wrapped you can keep them as a in-between meal snack and it's regulated you know that there's 120 calories in this bag here and no saturated fat 11 grams of sugar again more than i'm comfortable with but you do know that the sugar comes from the figs figs have a lot of sugar in them and then from the cane juice which you know again it's kind of getting up there in terms of the amount of sugar 
but these are on the sweet side of the types of food that you get in nature boxes. It's a much healthier and more interesting tasting version of a Fig Newton, that is for sure. Mm, yum, yum, yum. And last up are the Big Island Pineapples. These are dried pineapples. I love dried food. My favorite of all time is dried mangoes. Oh my gosh, they're so good. And if you have a Trader Joe's near you, they're dried mangoes that come in the packets. Literally the only thing, the only ingredient is mangoes. They're just dried mangoes. They don't have added sugar. They don't have added preservatives. They're so good. And the great thing about this is the only ingredient in here is dried pineapple. So there's nothing else added. And four and a half of these rings is only 120 calories, which is pretty surprising. Okay, so here's a good example. This contains 13 grams of sugar but all of that sugar is coming from the sugar that is naturally in fruit. Fruit is a very sweet uh, food compared to something like um, the vegetables, which don't have as much sugar in them. So that's, I, I guess I should sort of meter what I'm saying when I'm saying a lot of sugar is bad for you. I think that needs to be qualified by a type of sugar. So the 13 grams of sugar in this packet are literally coming from just the fruit. Fruits are basically water and carbs. Um, sugar is a type of carb, carbohydrate. And so that is much healthier for you than if you took a spoonful of sugar and, and ate it, or if you took high fructose corn syrup and ate that. So, if the sugar is coming from bad, those bad sources, definitely try to avoid them. But if you're eating a piece of fruit, sure, that ha technically has a lot of sugar, but that's different from the type of artificial sugars that are usually added to, uh, to packaged products, food products. And here is a little pineapple. I don't think I've ever had dried pineapple before. It's really good. I love it. Okay, so there is Nature Box, and I hope I was able to sort of convey why I love this subscription box. It is, it isn't like you are getting a box of celery and it's boring and it doesn't taste good and you don't want to eat it and you just have to eat it because you're trying to be healthy. These are food items that you're going to want to eat. And hopefully if you are someone, especially, you know, if you're just someone who in general, this is the type of food that you eat, then great. You get a variety and a selection that tastes good and that's prepared for you, is easy to take on the go and doesn't cost that much a month. I mean, you get five full-sized packets of food, which individually probably if you bought them at a store would cost, you know, three to four dollars each. So four dollars times five is already twenty dollars. Um, so it's not like you are spending sort of an exorbitant amount on this box or anything like that. Especially when you talk about health food stores, you know, food at those stores costs a lot more than at your local regular grocery store. Anyway, my point that I was making previously is that it, especially if you are the type of person who is trying to transition from eating sort of bad foods for you, foods that are unhealthy, foods that are really processed, foods that have a lot of fat or sugar, processed sugar, added artificial sugar in them, um, are high in saturated fat, things like that. If you're trying to move from that to substituting and getting healthier alternatives, this is a great way to do that, especially if you're someone who tends to add bad, pro bad food into your diet via snacking, which I'm a huge snacker. I, I can't do just three square meals a day and only eat then. I am constantly snacking on, nibbling on, and chewing on snacks and food throughout the day. So this is a great option for you to take if you are trying to make a transition and it'll make it easier on you to incorporate healthier options because they taste good and it's not like chewing on a stock of celery and you just hate it and you don't want to do it and you're not your taste buds are not interested in it you will have an incentive to make those healthier alternatives with an option like this for you and of course anyone else i mean if you just like food or you're a foodie or you want something that is convenient on the go and you want to try something new every month or try five new things every month, then this is also a pretty affordable option for you. 
Anyway, I will stop blabbing. I um, hope you try out NatureBox, and if you do, or if you already subscribe to NatureBox, please share your thoughts with me. Thanks for uh, virtually snacking on these things with me. I, I wish I could give part of them to you through the screen and have you taste them also, but um, hopefully at least this gives you a peek into the world of NatureBox. Thanks for taking the time to watch this video. I'll see you in the next one.